Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto, and in this video, we are going to make some mozzarella stuffed crust pizza rolls in our corn dog maker. But before we do that, if you enjoy low carb cooking videos, product and ingredient reviews, as well as lessons learned from my experiences with the ketogenic lifestyle and intermittent fasting, click that subscribe button down there. And while you're at it, click the bell next to it so you're notified whenever I release a new video. So after making my first batch of corn dogs in my new corn dog maker, my thoughts immediately went to, what are some of the other fun things I might be able to do with this? And uh, apparently that's also what a lot of my viewers thought because I got a number of different suggestions and requests. One of the common requests revolved around either mozzarella sticks or something like a pizza roll. So I'm putting both those ideas together today. We're gonna be using a food processor for this recipe because we wanna make sure we get this into a nice batter. We'll start with one cup of shredded mozzarella two tablespoons of almond flour, a half teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and a half teaspoon of baking powder. We're then gonna process this until it basically looks like crumbs. As you can see, the texture is kind of just like moist breadcrumbs now. To this, we'll add two large eggs, and a tablespoon of tomato paste. Now, if you've seen my tomato paste hack video, you'll see just how sweet this works out. You just pop one of these out of the freezer, microwave it for 10 seconds, you're good to go. Again, we'll process this until it's thoroughly mixed. And finally, we'll sprinkle in about a dozen pepperoni, finely chopped. and we'll just give this a pulse or two. Next, we have a little trick that will help you on any of your corn dogger type recipes. Take a sandwich bag, and stick it into a mug or a cup, folding over the edges, and using a spatula, transfer your batter to the bag. Remove from the cup, seal, and snip off a corner. While the corn dog maker preheats, you can cut your mozzarella sticks down to the right length, which should be about two thirds the size of a stick. So with four mozzarella sticks, you'll wind up with just the right amount for six pizza rolls. The corn dog maker is preheated. So now we'll pipe in our batter. Add our mozzarella sticks, push them down just slightly, and then we top with more batter. And close the lid. It's been a little over four minutes and they've quit steaming, so let's take a look. Not a bad fill job, considering the fact that I was holding a camera with one hand while I did that. Let's pop these guys out and move them to a cooling rack. Let's give them a taste. Look at that cheese, so nice and melty. We got some low carb Rayo's marinara sauce here. Mm. This is truly like a pizza roll and a mozzarella stick had a baby. I mean, that is the highest possible praise. Now, the cool thing about these as well is they reheat really nicely, especially in an air fryer. So if you refrigerate them and then wanna reheat them, just give them a little spritz with some coconut oil or whatever your cooking oil of choice is. And then I found, at least on the Philips air fryer, that setting it to 390 degrees for four minutes is perfect for reheating these. In the weeks to come, I will be making a lot more recipes and videos with the corn dogger, both savory, like the pizza roll or a jalapeno popper or something else, and some special dessert items that might be applicable this time of year. Pumpkin. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.